Praise the Lord. Good morning. God bless you. You know, this is a very, very prevalent subject matter and subject that matters that a lot of us have been inflicted with, afflicted with. Infliction is you couldn't help it. You was born with it. And affliction is when you do it to yourself. Excuse me, inflict, infliction, like a self-inflicted gunshot wound, is when you do it to yourself. Affliction is when you were born with it. The child was afflicted with polio. The child was afflicted uh, with leukemia. You know, he stabbed himself. She shot herself. That's inflicted, meaning you've done it to yourself. And a lot of us have done this to, our, to ourselves. I, I, I used to suffer from this horrible, horrible, horrible disorder, this horrible syndrome and phobia. And I'm grateful unto the Most High God, El Elyon himself. Almighty God, El Shaddai himself. I, I, I am I am blessed of our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be his holy and righteous name, to have been delivered from this syndrome, this phobia, this spiritual disease. And it's a pandemic in nature, and a lot of people have it and don't even know they have it. A lot of people have endured it. A lot of people have been subjected to it. A lot of people have succumbed to it. And it's a very, very, very prevalent disease. I thank God Almighty, our Father in heaven for uh, delivering me and cleaning me up on the inside. You know, Because this disease that a lot of us suffer from, it's called death penalty anger. If they get your order wrong, it's death penalty anger. If he upset you, it's death penalty anger. If somebody cut you off or don't use their turn indicator, it's death penalty anger. If your manager upset you, if your co-worker upset you, if your son or daughter or your husband or wife or nephew or niece or auntie or uncle, milkman uh, upset you or, or the butcher, it's death penalty anger. Some of us don't have have just one move when it comes to getting upset, one gear when it comes to flying off the handle, one uh, uh, mode when we become upset. Now, some of us can build up to it. I've been guilty of that too. That's called barbecue grill. Uh, it was sitting stew. Some of us can let you have it straight out the box. That's a welding torch. Some of them have a quick flare up and it quickly goes down. That's a match. But if you strike a match and stick it on your arm or somewhere on your skin or anywhere on your body, you're going to go into some type of shock. Death penalty anger. You, you, you know, when you, when you compromise, that means you are coming with a promise. And the greatest uh, um, apology in the world, I believe, is to see extraordinary change. To see a person outlive their fallacies. To see a person overcome their faults and flaws. To see a person uh, mature. And another word for mature is perfect or perfection or maturation as I leave this alone but death penalty anger is so prevalent in marriages and relationships some of us have have had to have to use death penalty anger as a defense mechanism from the last husband from the past husband from the last wife from the past wife as I leave this alone and try to land God's airplane we must understand or overstand that death penalty anger I've been inflicted with it I've been afflicted with it I didn't use it as a defense mechanism. I've used it as an offensive mechanism. And one day I saw myself in action. Reminds me of the little boy that was so angry that his daddy told him to go outside and pound these 72 nails in a tree. And the little boy came back in. He was all proud of his work and sweating and huffing and puffing. And the daddy took my side and said, now I want you to pull the nails out. And when he pulled all them out, he came back in huffing and puffing and sweating and told his dad, I'm done, daddy. And dad said, now what do you see? And he said, nothing. He said, yes, you do. There's 72 holes in the tree. And that's how it is when we hurt people. We, I mean, it's like it's hanging a picture. When I first left the military, I ain't nothing about hanging no pictures. And I would destroy walls trying to hang a picture. <laughs> holes everywhere and picture crooked. And as I leave this long, and that's how it is. We, we move the picture, but we leave the holes in the pe people. The situation may change, but we leave holes in people. We don't apologize, but we leave holes in people. We move the picture. It looks better on this wall. 
or you look better with this person or you moved on in life but you left holes in the wall as I leave this alone and death penalty anger has destroyed so many of us death penalty anger has hindered and, and disabled so many of us death penalty anger has put so many of us in a position never to be with anybody else again because we got one move one gear one anger one mode as I leave this alone so I pray and I beg our Father in heaven constantly Lord please don't let me snap crackle and pop please let me fall down and Father God should I fall down if and or when bless me to recognize my faults and flaws bless me to realize that I can do better I'm not ashamed when I'm wrong I'm wrong I'm not ashamed when I fall I fall but the less I fall down the less I get up but every time I get back up from a fall that makes me a better person a better, better man on the inside a better dad and a better parent as I leave this be so let us pray about our death penalty anger I hear y'all already. I'm just real. No, you just real mean. I hear not from the school of hard knocks, but you, has it knocked any sense until you have you graduated? Death penalty anger is a pandemic. The welder's torch, the barbecue grill, the book of matches anger. The same letters in the same letters in anger, you find in range. Range means boundary or demarcation, meaning it can be controlled. Death penalty anger. First, second, third degree murder. Forgive me, Father. First, second, third degree theft. Forgive me, Father. I mean, petty larceny. We have different degrees of offenses in, 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 in law, in crime, in the streets. But death penalty anger, every time you get mad, pow. Death penalty anger, every time you get mad, pow. Death penalty anger, every time you get mad, pow. If you kill everybody and everything, every time you get mad, one man, one woman cannot live on the island. That means you're lost. As I leave this alone. Most gracious Father, Forgive us for our sins and trespasses against one another, our transgressions and sins against you. Father God, change us on the inside. Bless us, Father God, to let all that come in contact with us come in contact with love, with love spelled backwards, evil, the root word of evolution. Bless us, Father God, to be changed and rearranged on the inside. Bless us with your supernatural surgery. Let all that come in contact with us, most high God, come in contact with you. In Jesus' name I pray and ask it all. Amen. God bless you. Grew Scott. Deal Stemendiga. Glory, hallelujah. Shalom. Allahu Akbar. Allah Hafiz. Regardless of how you say it, I mean it, man. God bless you. God protect you. Peace. One.